courses. Some were good, some were bad, but then everything came down to why when I led into Google. Design, do you own any helicopters? Do you have a pilot's license? I do not have a pilot's license. If you hop in a helicopter and try to fly it right now, what do you think will happen? Hear that crack up. Y'all see that right there. That says Digital Journal. Helicopter rides in Atlanta, best private helicopter tour service in Atlanta. This is one of my students from the Godfather of Drop Servicing, and we are about to launch remastered version of Godfather of Drop Service and where we're going to go deep, deep, deep into specific niches. But this interview today is about him, how he's reached the top of Atlanta, how he's uh, earned this plaque right here. And he's going to help you guys to open your own helicopter tour service in your specific city and go to the top and start making money with drop service. And so now um, let me ask you, Bajan, do you own any helicopters? Do you have a pilot's license? I do not have a pilot's license. If you hopped in a helicopter and tried to fly it right now, what do you think would happen? Wouldn't be a good look. <laughs> but yet and still, you are the top helicopter tour service in Atlanta. Now, y'all watching this right now, I need y'all to understand something. Atlanta is an extremely competitive place, not just for music, for any type of business you want to start up. That's a like it's a it's crazy amounts of entrepreneurs there. OK, so to become the top. Uh, helicopter tour service there and it's in a unique niche It's super exciting and everything guys he's going to be generous today to offer you guys coaching and an ebook okay so the ebook is going to be free guys and he's going to show you how you can literally open up your own helicopter tour service without any equipment you don't have to have any of the like the vehicle flight any flight experience licenses permits or none of that stuff with drop service and that's why this is so powerful so let me ask you this um um when you first opened up your helicopter tour service how long did it take you to notice that you were ranking on the first page of google um honestly within one week after i first opened it up i was already boom right up there and hey hey listen for all of you guys who are new to the channel see Dijon, a lot of people came in here uh through this chat gpt movement and ai movement so they they're not really that familiar with what we do they don't know me like that. So I get a lot of skeptical people and all of that. And please let these people know. You hear me? <laughs> like, I know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, so it only yes. took him a week to rank. Okay, so after the, the rankings came, uh, how, how long would you say, like, just an estimate? I know that was like a long time ago. How long did it take, though, if you can guess, before the first phone calls came in? Mm, probably within, like, the next week or so after that, people start calling, trying to find out um, information, what's going on. They said they found me on the maps and everything. So, boom, that's when everything okay. started. All right. So I ain't going to hold up. Hey, because everybody is excited watching this. Put a, a hashtag. Yes, Lord. In the comments, if y'all are excited for him to share his screen, he's going to show his results. He's going to show how he's the most dominant force in Atlanta when it comes to helicopter uh, tour services. Then he's going to talk about what he's planning on doing to expand in the future with his helicopter uh, service, like what other cities and, you know, how he's going to like uh, step up the game and the revenue and all of that extra stuff in the city. And you guys are going to be able to follow along. Those of you who are smart that books the coaching and, <laughs> and starts your own helicopter tour service. Oh, also, how much did you, I mean, we already know that you didn't buy any helicopters. So what was the grand total of how much you invested in starting up your helicopter tour service? I invested down like barely, <laughs> barely anything. Say that louder, man. Cause, cause, cause I, they I might. Put, I didn't put like no real money down involved in this. Just straight applied myself with the knowledge. Okay. So listen, y'all, it's not a game. But you need a coach, right? The scripture says, uh, you know, before you take action, first seek wise counsel. So he was able to find me. I don't know, through some of these drop service and videos back in 2020, it was at the beginning of the scamdemic and stuff. And I was yep. going hard uploading and letting everybody know that they can do this because other people were drop service and cheap Fiverr gigs. I'm like, dog. I've been doing this, but I've been doing it with local businesses. So I started everybody off with the party buses, but he was the one out of the bunch that was like, you know what? I'm going to do helicopters. And I'm like, this dude, he brave. Yeah, he's going to do helicopters. That's unique because I never did the helicopter niche before. So this is why I'm super proud of him because he stepped out of what everybody else was doing. Um, and he, he actually dominated with it. You understand what I'm saying? The business model works. So for those of you guys that don't know what drop servicing is, is uh, you act as a third party uh, service provider, but you're not doing any of the fulfillment. Basically, you're the, the face of the promotion like uh, Fiverr. Pretty much Fiverr is the platform that allows other people to promote their services. But Fiverr doesn't do any of the fulfillment, but they are worth billions of dollars. Groupon, the same thing. Uber, they don't own any vehicles. 
but they're the biggest transportation company ever. Airbnb don't own any hotels, but they're the biggest hospitality, DoorDash, blah, blah, blah. Turo, same business model for those skeptics out there. Um, <laughs> this is what he did, and he did it with helicopters. And if you want to see if he's still doing it, go ahead and share your screen. Dijon, let's, get the, let's get the skeptics out the way at the beginning real quick. We're going to go through his analytics, guys, and uh, we're going to calculate. We're going to make some calculations. Um, a lot of you guys want to know, like, how fast this will work, as you guys saw. Uh, there's a couple different things that happen with the snack pack and everything. But as you guys saw, once we get you on the snack pack, it can be like a, a week or two before the phone actually starts ringing. OK. Um, also, he's going to show you some analytics. All right. Now, check this out. Yeah, we can see the screen. We can see the screen. Man, ooh -wee! that graph looks good. Now, if you're not an SEO like I am, then you don't know what the heck that's talking about. You hear me? <laughs> Look at the look at the purple. That's the total impressions. And then look at the clicks. Now, this is for the actual website itself, like with the organic, right? Yeah. OK, so over the past three months, it got one hundred and nine clicks. One hundred and nine people went to the website and it got five point thirty two thousand impressions. The average position with the website is for uh, uh, position 14. Right. OK, so now let's go over to the website. Take, let, let us see what the website looked like. All right, guys. Now. Websites don't have to be all beautiful and all of that to convert. His his website is nice. Okay, it says it got the phone number, the call to action right there in your face. He makes it super easy to make a booking. Now check this out: helicopter flight packages starting at six hundred bucks. What's included? Free dinner slash free B day vacation, ten percent off party bus ride service, and lastly complimentary champagne. So he did an offer stack, creating the irresistible offer. So if you guys want great results, you have to follow instructions from your coaches. A lot of you guys will book a coaching session with me or get my courses and then go and try to do your own thing. That's like going to the doctor, telling them your symptoms and he diagnoses you and you say, nah, I don't think you know what you're talking about. That makes no sense. Don't, True. don't do that. Don't book a coach and then not listen to him and then come back later and blame him because you don't have no results. OK, the people that listen to me, guys, they get results. That's not a cocky thing, but you guys are starting to see it, right? Okay, so look how he structured it. The structuring of his site uh, and his content and everything, like, it's, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. So what did you use to create the content on the pages? See, uh, right now, we use a few different things. I use ChatGPT to get some graphs, some video content from YouTube, some organic maps of locations in the city. Yeah. You know okay, so... As y'all can see, like he's doing a lot of ninja stuff right here. If you in the Money Highways Ranking Bank SEO course, you probably don't know nothing about why he's putting the maps on there. But it's just he's sending indicators to Google that he's actually in the local vicinity because there's so many fake websites and stuff that Google is weeding out things. If you don't have heavy indicators, if you're not hyper locally relevant and hyper topically relevant, it's going to be difficult to rank. Let's go over to Google and let's see some of your live rankings. We are feeling right. right now. Y'all can see it. So this is private helicopter ride. Okay. All right. So where are you in in the snack pack? Right here. Right Number here. two. Yeah. That's him right there, y'all. Live, live, live. Okay. That is him. And he got 12 reviews on there. That mug is legit. You hear me? So when I tell you guys, you can start an actual local service, uh, actual local business. You understand what I'm saying? Without hiring employees, without equipment, without, you know, uh, staff meetings or... <laughs> You know, firing or doing any of that extra crap. You know, um, I can't give you legal info, you know, details or anything, but you don't even have to start. You know, we don't we didn't even start with our LLC yet. All of that stuff that y'all be using, to, uh, uh, what is it called? Procrastinate to actually getting started and making money and stuff, holding yourself back. Look, prove the business model first, and then go and get all that stuff. So he was drinking within a week, getting phone calls within two weeks and booking people. You understand what I'm saying? So now what I'm helping him do is scale it up. Uh, he created his ebook as well. So because now he can start teaching you guys because I got a couple people asking me, man, how the hell did he do that? When I featured you in the last video, people was like, man, oh, man, a helicopter business. That's 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 freaking exciting. Right. So. All right. So now what I want to ask you is, um, let me see. Have you shown your shown your family this your business? Hey, they know. They know. Cool. What yeah. do they think about it? You always gonna have some fan members on me in school. Some of them gonna be hating. It's all good and everything. We all gonna come together. Trust me, they all funny. They know I'm about it because like they see me get on calls with people trying to figure out what's up. I'm talking about as soon as I wake up in the morning, seven a.m. in the morning, boom, somebody call me. They trying Bro. to figure out, man, how's this man doing this man and everything. Late yeah, hours. Yeah, I heard it. 
He wake up 7 a.m. in the morning to some calls from people trying to like book the flights and stuff. Now, uh, one thing he did tell me before uh, um, uh, we started rolling camera is that Facebook, he's been having a little issue tackling Facebook. So I want to get this out here in the open. All right. What's working already? Uh, we need to scale that up. So for future references, any of you guys that are going to work with him or me or whatever, get the Godfather drop service and get his coaching. Um, we're going to focus on what's working. A lot of the times we're looking at what everybody else is doing. Oh, everybody is moving over to TikTok ads and all of this extra stuff. Whatever's working for you, ramp that stuff up to the wazoo. So me and him are focusing on ramping up his Google. OK, so YouTube is a part of Google. OK, so we're going to focus on YouTube and Google platform itself with YouTube. We might run some YouTube ads. OK, some yeah. YouTube ads. OK, and do some shorts with the hashtag with Atlanta in there and everything like that. OK, so that type of stuff, we can start ramping that up and everything. Uh, but other than that, we don't want to be on too many platforms. We want to focus on ramping it up on what's working. Google and YouTube. Um, I wanted to ask you something else. So, oh, yeah. So how are you offering them? How are you creating the offer stack for them? So right now, how I'm doing it? Yes. Yeah, so once they call, I just let them know, hey, uh, we got free dinner vouchers we can send you. We got uh, free champagne that cook you up with it while you're flying to. And if you're interested, I can get, I got some partners who have ride services and everything. And I cook you up with a discount on getting a ride service. That way they'll come to you. They'll pick you up take you to the airfield and also to, i'll get it for like three hours extra so once you guys are fine you'll still have to ride so they'll take you around atlanta just for a nice evening out and everything and then take you back man this man knows his stuff you hear me like this is what i'll be trying to tell y'all this is the stuff that like he, he i'm super proud right now <laughs> it was like i was listening to myself talk you see how he he offers that bet so when they call they're not just getting the typical uh uh um you know communication that they'll get from some other helicopter company or whatever. We're not going to answer the phone and just be like, yeah, what you want? Now nah, we're not available on that day. All right. So, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we got this and blah, blah, blah. You know, no, not only are they going to get the helicopter ride, but they're getting the complimentary champagne. Like dog, y'all don't offer stack enough. Even if, even if it already comes with it, still mention it anyway, because it's not in people's heads. <laughs> like sometimes we, you know, things will come with a, a product or a service, but you don't really think about it. So put it out there. Like, yo, did you know that this helicopter ride is also going to come with complimentary champagne? It's also going to come with, uh, uh, what did you say? The, the B-Day vacation, right? The uh, free dinner voucher. The free dinner voucher. Yeah. The 10% discount on the ride service and we'll come up with vacation too. Boom. So if it's their birthday, right, they're going to get a vacation. He, he partnered with a traveling company, like I told him to. And now they can get uh, like discounts on vacations or a complimentary vacation. They might still have to pay for their like flight and, uh, and stuff like that. But a hotel and food and all of that stuff will be free and all of that. None of them other companies are doing that in Atlanta. And this is why he's able to stand out. And this is what we teach you. Guys. We teach you guys to be unique. You got to put you in there. You got to be unique. So why would they pick you over any of the other helicopter ride companies there? So a lot of you guys are watching this and you thought it was going to be like super technical. Uh, oh, where do I go get my business license or how long am I going to be in pilot training or something? No, you don't need to do any of that stuff. Like you don't have to. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can see a bit. This is why drop service, high ticket drop service is so powerful because you can scope out which business models work. Which companies make a lot of money? You can partner with them. Then you just, I said partner, not get them as a client. Because a lot of people out there masquerading, talking about drop service. And when it's technically, they still just doing the regular client model. No, we acquire partners, meaning we can switch them out whenever they ain't acting right. And we can replace them with somebody else. And they're just doing a fulfillment. The sale comes in through us. So the, when he gives a call, he's going to be the one that collects the money. Then he's going to send them their cut and he keeps the remainder. And then he sends them the customer's information, where to pick them up and you know where to drop them off, how many hours they booked and all of that extra stuff. And, and you can autopilot a lot of that when it starts to get overwhelming if you need to. Right. Yeah. So. Um, so how would you how would you explain? Like, like, why did you pick the helicopter niche? What made you pick the helicopter niche? Um, that's a really good question. To be honest with you, it was like a series of different events. From when I was starting, when I was younger, just studying business in school. Then I just wanted to pursue my uh, knowledge as in right after I got out of like, college university, which I feel like was a waste of time. Um, I just messed around with some online courses. Some were good, some were bad. But then everything came down to why when I led into you. 
um, how I came about the helicopter tour service thing. I was just studying the information provided. And I want to say one day, I believe it or not, I was driving past, either I was on my way to my mother's house or I was leaving my mother's house and I was driving past this hospital and I saw them coming down with a helicopter and taking somebody at a stretch. And I was like, man, dog, those guys, uh, they do a lot of hard work flying this helicopter and getting these people safe. Then it clicked. Boom. I'm going to start my own private helicopter tour service yeah. in the city, just like that. And it's yeah. like, one oh, thing you oh, oh, you just gave me a freaking idea. That's hey, what listen. happened. Yo, it's funny. That exactly feeling you got right now, that's exactly how I felt when um, it was going on. So that's how I know I'm doing something. That's how I know I was on to something. And yeah, I'm glad I was yeah. able to pursue that because that right there, what you just said, you just gave me an idea. So that's exactly how I felt when I was doing this. <laughs> hey, see, hey, we learn from each other. Listen, y'all. Learn from each other. Because, uh, uh, Dijon, I'm, I'm, I'm about to redo the Godfather Drop Servicing because it's oh, yeah. 2023. Uh, the business model still work the way it works, but now I've acquired way more knowledge. And then what happened with the snack pack with Google penalties and all of that. So now I have to create everything over. So, uh, but what the idea you just gave me, right. <laughs> is partnering with medical of, you know, medical professionals and companies and stuff like that. Right. Cause like airlifting and all of that stuff, if we can get into some of the smaller hospitals and stuff, right. If we can get into some of the smaller hospitals with the helicopter tour service or with the helicopter service, period, and they can do the airlifting and all of that extra stuff, oh, yeah. man. That that stuff because it's Atlanta, so people be crashing all the freaking every time day, and every car pile up. And, yeah, so if you can be the go to for that, man, that's and then your company be on the news. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, that's not a good thing because people be like crashing and hurting and stuff. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm a, you um, get what I'm saying. Eventually, I was gonna get around to that somehow, but it was just like for me right now, it's just one step at a time and everything. I'm trying to start off yeah. with what I can manage first, then I'm gonna build my way up somehow. I'm gonna make it happen though. For sure, for sure. So, as far as partnerships, uh, what what type of companies you you were giving me a couple of them? What type of companies are you partnering with to try to get leads to come to you? Okay, so right now, like let's let's get the people, you know, show them that you got like. Awesome ideas in there. So right now I got like one main partner. They actually just finished building out um my portion of the website on their page. I'm you see that too and everything. Um, their ride, their limousine, party bus rental service and everything. So uh, it's funny. They said I'm gonna say they said they finished the website uh building out their portion website. I want to say like last week Wednesday, right? That following Friday, they already got some people calling trying to figure out how hey, hey, can you get in the heat and doing everything in the safety. Um, they, they didn't book. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. They didn't book though because they had too much of a large group. They had all like that's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's that's cool. But you know it works. Yeah. So yeah. this is what you do. That's one limo company. See, this is what I be trying to teach y'all. Like, once you have an asset, your asset is your foot in the door. Your asset is your business card. Your asset is your elevator pitch. It covers all of those things. If if I was to message a limo company. Just being me, like just being one of these little annoying marketing agencies that's prospecting and stuff. If I was to just message them, yeah, I want to work with you. I want to bring you leads and all of that. Click. No, I don't. I already got a marketing guy. Leave me alone and all exactly. of that. But if I message them as one of the top helicopter tour services, we're both in the same industry. We're, we're both in hospitality and transportation. So now I'm I'm literally an equal, you know, I'm equal with them. So when you, you already got one guy. No, no, no. Now, now you leverage that same guy. Yo, I'm already. So now you leverage him and you start content. Man, this is how you're going to get unlimited, unlimited bookings. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, man. See, I learn when I'm teaching y'all, when I'm teaching y'all, I end up learning stuff. That's crazy. So (laughs) listen, so (laughs) y'all don't understand because we've been like, uh, uh, going back and forth on ramping up his, uh, his inbound and stuff like that for a while. And we've been, uh, he's been. Uh, partnering with like top golf companies and and, and, and stuff like that yeah. but but this limo thing for some weird reason i never even <laughs> never even considered it like you talked about top golf and restaurants but n- oh, come on how the heck didn't we okay so now you leverage the fact that you already partnered with the lim- one limo dude and when you reach out to a new limo dude you ask them the first question you ask them is um have you ever heard of a blank limo company yeah. of course they have so we started off with a dumb question. Why? Because we wanted to be obvious to them. So we give them something. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the video I did a couple months ago about how to uh, convert DM to a warm DM, like how to automatically make your, your cold outreach warm. One of the methods is to name drop. Why? Because they don't know you. 
But if the first sentence you have is about something or someone that they are familiar with, it catches their attention. If, if I'm trying to get the attention of a car dealership that I want to work with, I can go on Google. I can look across the street to see if any of their competitors are, you know, somewhere in their area. And then I can use that against them. So I'll get their email address and the subject line will be about blank dealership across the street. So they're going to answer that because that's their direct competitor. Mm -hmm. When you open it up, like I'm guessing, you know, blank dealership across the street. Um, I've been watching for a while and you guys are in the same area, but a lot more people seem to drive into his dealership. Why do you think that is? I already know the answer. I can tell you, when are you free? Right? Like <laughs> that, that's a warm email. It makes it seem like I have insider information. Like maybe I've worked with that guy before. Right. And now I can put you on his level, right? See, but if I had reached out some other way, it's like, yeah, man, I want to get you some more leads, you know what I'm saying, for your car dealership or something. They would just ignore it. So my point in bringing this up is that you're already, you, first of all, you can name drop yourself because they can go Google that. <laughs> so this is a double impact, you hear me? So <laughs> like, yo, this is, uh, uh, you know, Atlanta's private tour service, blah, 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 right? Um, how well do you know blank limo service? And I would just leave it at that. I wouldn't even say anything else. Wait for them to respond. They're going to say, I know I'm pretty good. Why? You know what I'm saying? And then you'd be like, yo, I've recently partnered with them and we're swapping. Whenever I get uh, a helicopter client, I'm sending them romantic couples for their anniversary night on the town limo, limo uh, gigs and stuff. OK, I want to do the same partnership with you because I've noticed that it's boosting up their revenue. They're not going to want to get left freaking behind. Nah. So they're gonna be like, OK, well, how much is this partnership going to cost me? Oh, it's nothing. All you have to do is make a tab on your site. The tab is going to say uh, book romantic heli helicopter uh, tour. OK, so anybody that books a, li uh, a limo with you, I'm going to give them blank off with the helicopter tour. So now you have if you do this with five, six different Atlanta Biggest city, one of the biggest cities, but at least the most competitive cities, one of them, yeah. right? You do this with four or five limo companies in Atlanta, you don't even have to worry about like running any ads or, or anything. Every day you're going to wake up with them talking about, yeah, man, uh, the people that we, we did the party bus with last night, they're interested in getting the helicopter situation too. Oh, yeah, man, we took these people on a night on the town. They're interested in a, a, a two-hour flight around the city, blah, blah, blah. You're going to wake up to messages like that all the time. So that's definitely going inside the new Godfather freaking drop service. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, how get on that immediately. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, exactly. uh, Why are you talking? I'm already thinking this in my head. Man, I'm going to call you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how the heck we didn't think of limos before when I'm so when I worked so much with limos, nah, good, but man. I never like put the helicopter and limo situation together. But it's like, dog, it's a, a helicopter, a romantic helicopter tour is the, literally the same thing as a limo night on the town service only is in the air. But it's literally the same thing. Yeah. And imagine what the lights look like of the city from the air. Oh, you see what I'm saying? My, so it's my, like, I'm oh, see my content I, I got uh, on how it looks. I'm going to send it to you after we've done all this and everything. So that way you can see it. Oh, for sure. I don't for know sure, if you got like sure. a uh, WhatsApp or something we could probably get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you my I don't know how you ain't got my WhatsApp. I'm going to give you my WhatsApp. We'll figure it as soon as we uh, get this figured out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all watching this right now. My bad. I just got so in the freaking zone and fired up that I forgot that <laughs> I forgot we're recording and that this is a freaking uh, like interview situation and everything. Yeah. So far, what do y'all think? Let us know in the comments, man. Like, how much experience did you have in the transportation industry before uh, you started this? None. Yeah. Do y'all see? Like, so, you know, because a lot of y'all will have these limited beliefs that, you know, well, you know, that's good for him. He was able to do it. You know? But why are you watching it anyway? If you got that mindset, but like, dog, he didn't, he didn't have to invest except for, you know, the Godfather drop servicing, but he didn't have to like spend any money to build his helicopters. He's one of the top dudes. Do y'all understand that helicopters have been around for pretty much ever? Yeah. And in one week, he was one of the top guys in two weeks. He started getting calls. Now, as you guys saw his analytics, I mean, y'all, y'all see it. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Yeah. And then I'm, I want to show them uh, some calculations because uh, it needs to be real. Helicopter tour. Right All right. So let me share my screen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, where are we at? Okay. There we go. All right. So he has um, 
on his, it says 600 bucks and stuff. It depends on which city you're in and everything. You guys, if you want to, you can go and, uh, you know, just search for your specific city and everything. And every business, every company is a little bit different, right? So we'll just look at this, though, because this is what came up. It says, how much does a tour helicopter cost? We offer four different tours because this is, this is in Los Angeles. For some reason, it's showing up right here, probably because I'm out the freaking country. But it says, uh, ranging from 30 minutes to 90 minutes, the price range is as low as 219 per person to 519 per person. This is why I teach you guys high ticket drop servicing. If it's a, a, a group of people, think about how much that is. And if you worked out a good deal with your partner, you're getting a lot of freaking money off of each freaking booking. And once it's set up and you're getting traffic and people are booking, that's just passive income pretty much. It's not like you got to say, oh man, let me put my clothes on. Let me put my shoes on. Let me get my pilot hat. I really don't feel like flying them around the city. You know, I, I thought this was going to be a passive business. Dude, <laughs> you don't have to do it. And that's the whole point of drop servicing, y'all. This is the whole point of drop servicing, that you don't have to be the one that fulfilled the service. You can use your marketing skills or the skills that I give you and what he's going to give you in the coaching session. And you can implement them and be set up before the week is out. It is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, December 26th. You guys can be set. Think about that. It is about to be 2024. Go into the new year with a new business model that you can stick to. Pull multiple income streams. I'm teaching him right now to pull multiple income streams from this same business model instead of getting like all over the place with different types of business models. He's going to like, like literally pause, drain the helicopter niche from everything for, for everything he could get from it. OK, so. These are the things you guys are going to learn. I want you to first book the coaching session with him and get inside the also get inside the Godfather of Drop Servicing. Godfather of Drop Servicing right now. After the holidays, it will not be this. Like I've, I've been showing you guys proof after proof after proof after proof that this works. Right now, it's only nine ninety seven. How much? It was about two thousand dollars when I first met you. Yeah. It was about two thousand dollars, and people were flying in. I was in Mexico at the time. We had the store, and we just all we we're hearing while we we're at the store is flum, 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 flum. Those are payments, just in case you guys don't know what that sound means. Why? Because people actually want a real business. Yeah, that's fast. I used to teach CPA marketing back in the day. You know, in CPA marketing, you can make a lot of money, but you can't really build a, a known brand with CPA marketing. Then you have the marketing agency model, which you become a freaking slave to these business owners and stuff with that, guys. Drop servicing is the only business model that allows you to promote your brand while using or leveraging the other business owners to be <laughs> the fulfillment partners. Toro, Uber, Airbnb, DoorDash. Think about DoorDash. You understand? Well, I'm pretty sure you guys have ordered from DoorDash or Uber Eats before. Like these are all restaurants that are technically, technically, they work for these platforms. So in the new Godfather Drop Servicing, I'm going to show you how to get your own platforms. If you were wondering, like, oh, I already got the Godfather. No, 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 no. I'm going to show you how to get your own platforms, how to fill them up with the partners instead of just like miscellaneously having partners, how to fill them up with the partners and how to get them to do the fulfillment. Just like how he has his uh, partners doing the fulfillment for the helicopters. We're going to ramp that up. We're going to make it national this time. We're going to make it national this time. OK, so look. All right. How um, what's your availability? Like what days are you available for coaching? Because I know it's a percentage of wise men and women. There's a small percentage of women on this channel, but we'll just say that to keep everything equal. There's a percentage of wise men and women that want to start their own helicopter company right now. Like it just doesn't make no sense yeah. to not want it. We do. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like why wouldn't you want it, right? It's, it's beginning to look a lot like anyway, but <laughs> it's about to be January 1st, right? Yeah. So what, what days are you available? Fridays, my best days. Um, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, weekends. Uh, we could do it. Okay. You know I can set up personal time on weekends to help people get started. I'm down. Okay. Y'all heard that, man. Like, see, this is the problem. A lot of people complain and be like, man, man, <laughs> if I had somebody to teach me or if I had somebody to just coach me or just take my hand or set aside some time or something, I, I know I could do this. Okay. Well, now, as you guys have been seeing, I've been bringing person after person after person on here, interviewing them, showing you real results. No more skepticism. Get the boo boo bull crap out of your heads. You understand? Like, it's not always the other person that's the problem. Sometimes you just don't believe in yourself. 
OK, these are clear results right here. He's the top guy. You can go see that yourself. Uh, uh, Keith, Coach Keith, the one that I introduced you guys to in the party bus niche. He's the top guy. Right. So it works, guys. You just have to, like, get out of your own way. Make 2024 the most profitable year that you've had so far and then scale from there. You got coaches. We're here. The Godfather of Drop Service and Remaster will be dropped soon. Um, 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 and then you got the coaching session with him that's going to come with the free ebook outlining in the audio book outlining exactly what he did from beginning to point. So you got the ebook, audio book, plus a freaking coaching session, plus you can get the Godfather Drop Service and Remaster. What can stop you this year? Besides you. Hey. If God be with me, who can be against me? I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. He literally tells you that you're the only one that can stop you. OK, so, guys, look, what do you want to do, man? Um, you, you'll see his contact information in the first pin comment in the description. This was super freaking exciting. Um, did you want to say anything to them, you know, uh, before we ride out into the sunset? Uh, no, nah, not much and everything. Like I said, I'm just here and available. I'm actually trying to get more people involved best way I can. Uh, yeah, I'm down to do coaching one step at a time. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. I'll send you the ebook as soon as you uh, book the coaching session with me. Okay. Exactly. So check this out, y'all. Before we ride out, I want to say something. Um, we have family just like you have family. The sad thing is our families, <laughs> the life of an entrepreneur is kind of lonely, even if you're surrounded by a million freaking people. Our families will literally see us do this and still have a nine to five job. Our families will literally see us do this. We'll try to take them aside on, you know, with us and show them how to do it. And they're like, nah, that's, that's you. That's you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. But then come around and want some freaking money. Mm -hmm. So you guys have opportunity right now to be closer to us than our own blood relatives. Think about that. Think about that. Like you're here for a reason. Obviously, you want something to happen, something to change, right? It, whether it's financial, whatever. OK, so you can start in this helicopter niche. Use the, the principles and the formulas that you're going to learn. And then if you want to go into other niches because it works the same in every single niche. I teach them laws and formulas, laws and formulas that are not of this world don't change. Men's laws change, but the laws of the scripture and the laws of nature don't change at all. So if you build your business on those foundations, you're going to be successful no matter what niche you go to. So now I'm about to help him scale to the wazoo while he still has a little bit of time for y'all because he's going to be busy in 2024. Oh, yeah. Major. <laughs> right. OK. So while he still has some time for y'all, why don't y'all get busy, too? Right. Why don't you start your helicopter business within the next freaking week? Imagine that. You hear me? OK. So I ain't going to run them through the, through the ground, man. Uh, I, I, I believe y'all going to do the I got faith that y'all going to do the right thing, the smart thing. Right. Uh, so we'll just say, you know, adios from here. OK. All right. You got to take action to get that cash in.